Hey guys, uh, we are going to be starting part one of our Wawa Vegito coverage series. There should be about three videos planned. I'm going to be covering uh, the actual Goichi versus Wawa set, as well as a upload um, I found by, I believe, Yoga Flame, that has uh, some online matches, and it's going to be some different context and some, like, how to play against different players with the character. It seems like Vegito's been getting a little bit more rising popularity toward the end of the season, as he did before. Because there's really just some fundamental play that makes Vegito rise up toward the end of the season, it seems like. But oddly enough, it's not like the crazy setups or tech or combo routing that gets discovered that makes Vegito more popular. People just feel like when he wants to take his turn very abruptly or if he wants to do uh, just good buttons with basic mix-up that his tools can get the job done. And it also, people have trouble dealing with his pressure in terms of knowing just when to contest. Behind the hands of like a really good player with really good game sense, you don't mash because you'll get trapped very easily. And as you can see, even 6M hits go each so, we're just going to let the clip replay here, and we'll go over the individual pieces. Okay, so here we're looking at your basic 5LL stagger. Uh, unfortunately, Bardock can actually contest here if you mash, but if you're a little slow, Vegito's going to hitch one startup. If you hesitate, you're going to get caught, but if you don't, you're... Like, if they don't respect you, the stagger is very, very difficult to deal with. However, the stagger that's even easier to deal with, just a 5L stagger, you can 5L stagger someone all the way in the corner. Even a Bardock will be afraid to contest because it could go wrong for them. It's all on timing. <laughs> so here he's just doing uh, one of the more basic uh, Vichido core strings, where he's doing the uh, the 5S, 5H, 6S, kicks into assist, and just keep going. And that's going to catch you trying to super dash through that, obviously, and it's just extending more and more and more. You have a lot of options, significantly, after that 5S or that 6S that can lead into some really good traps, but we don't see Wawa going for that. He goes for a very simple block string. He goes for a midi low directly after, just in case um, Goichi would want to hold up uh, for like an IDH or something, but that, that, that wouldn't really be uh, terribly strong or useful, so more likely it's going to catch Reflect, but he's just restarting the string. Now right here, he goes 2M, 2L, that's a Reflect point, that's very, very easy to catch, and if that becomes part of the, the, the quote-unquote infinite block string, as they say here, uh, it's very easy to punish. Again, he did the same string, but notice how he actually went 5L here into a true string. He's varying things up a bit. That was where Goichi just did the Goichi, where he tests very small amounts. He tested a reflect point there. But that was going to get his normal stuffed pretty hard. Uh, reflect tag would have been probably stuffed as well. But depending on timing, it might not have been. <laughs> He goes for a very small mix. Uh, let's see the timing in which he does this. 5LL M kicks. Okay. Uh, so, just translating there for a second, uh, he was saying if he realized this, this is going to be very bad. I'm not sure what he's realizing, but maybe the fact that he realizes like, where, the, where the reflect points are, uh, that might be actually very bad. <laughs> <laughs> but because Vegito, Vegito, but because Goichi just tested a reflect point and it wasn't advantageous, he's very likely to just continue holding this, as he does. <laughs> Again, he's 
going between high and low once he calls an assist. Very simple. But he and he went from 2M to L again. So you can recognize this pattern if a Vegito is doing this to you and reflect out of it. Reflect tag would just be very, very strong. Um, oh, is that Dogura? I, I think Dogura explains, like, Koro wa suzukeru Vegito. He's saying, and Vegito will just keep doing this. This is Vegito. This is the plan. Just keep them in the block string. Now, unfortunately, neither player is recognizing that there's the significant reflect point uh, between the the 2M, 2L, and once you 2M, there's nothing stopping you from, I don't know, just mashing reflect. Because if you just mash reflect after 2M, there's nothing I can do to threaten you. I'm minus way too much to want to stagger a 2M. So it's 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 very risky. The the best you could do to trap would be like a heavily delayed two three six seven or something like that. But that's very very risky. That's not gonna happen. I OK got time at the end. I OK time it. Yo, this. This is nine games. Might time it. Okay. Okay. That was not safe. That might have been like safe to block, but he's taking his turn again just because he's keeps changing options on him but after 5s right there barak mashes easy this is not a flawless string again 5l there that space no, no he actually walked out because he recognized oh shit if goichi realizes that the spacing is bad for me he can mash out i don't want to get mashed out on I have the life lead, as you can see here, um, which is a very, very cute thing to say because one Bardock 5L and you're just completely in set play hell. But he does back up here because he wants to be tip. <laughs> now, unfortunately, this is not allowing him to tip. He is mixing up what happens next. And he's actually changing the ver very, very subtly. He's changing what points he's doing the stagger. So, while I can tell you, all of the points he's staggering are unsafe and can be mashed. Aside from the one time he backed up, the fact that he keeps alternating very slightly and isn't in the same structure that a player like myself would be is it's very hard to get a read on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sick. <laughs> so he's asking, like, well, what is Goichi waiting for? Well, the answer is, what is he rushed to do? <laughs> That's funny, he just said he, uh, he has no motivation left to try and get out. <laughs> <laughs> so th the reason why that worked um, is because he's been constantly changing things up. Goichi's been trying to mentally lock on to how does this stagger work, when is he going to stagger, when are his habits. And because he's so locked onto that, and Vegito has so many different points in which he can restart his turn. Now granted, a lot of these are unsafe, but because a high level player like Goichi is constantly analyzing, while I was taking advantage of this, and once he overloads Vegito, Vegito I keep saying Vegito when I must say Goichi. Once he overloads Goichi with like the 7th or 8th thing to keep track of, he mixes in 6M, and Goichi's reactions have been delayed just enough that 6M hits. So that is basically the breakdown of uh, that block string and why it worked. It requires a high level of flexible fundamentals, like Wawa has. Do not just repeat this online and expect this to work, because a masher would have mashed through seven or eight different points there. And I have been mashed through all of those points. So, it worked for Wawa. It worked against Goichi just then. That was a specific case, specific time. And you still have to develop strong fundamentals and understand the character deeply to be able to um, get situations like this consistently to work. Okay, so that is my summary.
of the Twitter clip, and I will be putting out a extensive analysis on the actual match tomorrow. I'm tired, I'm sick, I'm going to bed. Good night, everyone.